Hi, this is a tutorial video to show you how to use VLOOKUP formula to make a report on Excel. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It is a function that searches Excel for certain value in a column to copy data from another table with the same value. It's a little technical, basically I use this so that I can use the common value which is student ID and I can merge data from different sheets. So to give you an example, most of our reports that we download from Blackboard or IBM Cognos or wherever contain student ID, student name and block. Now block changes on the term, student name might be spelt slightly differently in different places but student ID will always be the same. So this is the common value I will use and I would put, for example, test results together with attendance, together with MSAT results. And this would sort of report would take a lot of time to cross and merge and type in, but the VLOOKUP makes it instant to, to put that data together. So the formula is this, VLOOKUP, lookup value, table array, column index number, range lookup. Remember to write the VLOOKUP in capitals, remember to put brackets for the, uh, the formula here and commas between each value. Just to explain what these are, the lookup value is the common value, that's the student ID. The table array is the table which you want to get the data from to put with the other data. The number is, column index number is the column number of uh, the table you're copying from and range lookup is false. I'll explain this in a second. So here is um, an Excel spreadsheet I have. It has only three students in it, just to show this example. Um, I have student ID, student name, I have their English results and I have their math results. But I want to add their attendance, just to show perhaps how attendance is impacting results. So I'm going to insert a column. I'm going to call it attendance. Now my attendance data comes from a different source, so it's here. Now again, it's only three students because to make this demonstration look easier, but this information is here. Now obviously for three students I can just copy and type, type paste it, but if you have 100, 200, 300 students, this could take you some time. So we, for this we would use VLOOKUP. So I'm going to go back to the, this is where I want the information to be copied into. So in one cell, I'm going to type in equals VLOOKUP. And I'm going to do the formula that I shared with you a minute ago, this one. Now the Excel will help you as you type it up. Open brackets. Lookup value, sorry, I'm in the wrong one now. Lookup value is student ID. I'm just going to click one cell, comma. The table that I want the information from is here. So I'm going to copy all the information, not just student ID, because it's, it has the absence information as well. And then up here, it tells me where that table's source is, just to be happy with what they put there. Then I need to put column index number, and this is the third column, A, B, C. I, it asks for the number, not the letter, so we put column three, comma again, and then it's asking true or false. True is approximate, false is exact. I've never used true, I just use false. And now in the new uh, thing, I now have exam results, plus I have my attendance data. Now one thing I would do at this point is just to add one more column. I'm going to copy that data and I'm going to paste it in here as values, one, two, three. Now the reason for this is because this 15 is 15, whereas this 15 is a formula. So uh, it could take, um, it, it could disappear if something happened to the original data. So now I can happily delete that call this attendance and now I have in attendance data matched with English maths. Now obviously you can add many more students, you can add other data into this, you can add notes from other things that teachers have put in, all these kind of things as long as they're in Excel formula. Okay.
And now to show you an example of this in a more practical way, here is a class of 20 students where I've, I have the English, the maths, the physics. I actually use VLOOKUP to make this bit, but I want to add attendance. Um, I've blocked out the student ID, just so you know, just for confidentiality. And here I have my attendance report, and this contains hundreds of students. So obviously finding these 20 students in that, for, in that table will take a little time. So this will show you how VLOOKUP will work. So in the attendance, I'm going to type in equals VLOOKUP, comma. I'm going to take the student ID, now comma. Then I'm going to go to the attendance, and I want all this data. So 385 rows, again, comma. Uh, the information is still in column three in this example. And then I'm going to type false. I'm going to press enter. And in here, I now have all the attendance data for the 10 students, that uh, for the 20 students in this class. And again, like I said before, I would insert a column. I would copy this as values and then delete the column that I made. So now I have a more interest, a more informative spreadsheet that I can use to to analyze the performance of my classes. Okay, thank you.